And the center fielder, Wilson, who's playing to the right. Bonner sends it into right field. It's deep and over the wall. Home run for Bryce Bonner. Howe is coming home. Hunter is coming home. And the man himself, Bryce Bonner, rounding third and coming home. The Boilermakers with a big home run up four to one over Simo. Great piece of hitting there by Bryce Bonner. Sending it over the right field wall, finally taking advantage of the wind that we've been talking about all game. The righty pushes one out to right field. Big air for Milo Beam. It's into right. And out of here! Milo Beam with a home run off the first pitch in the bottom of the eighth. The second home run of the day for the Boilermakers, who usually play small ball, don't rely on power hitting. This is a power hitting team. Milo Beam putting one over the right field wall for his first home run this season. Great hit by the leadoff. Contact made. Deep in the right center field. The jump and the grab. For something double play great play by have the stamina to keep up he'll shoot one into right this one's towards the fence it's off the back wall and that's going to give the Boilermakers a lot of room to run they'll round the bases into home safe Milo Beam is home. out there so a lot of spots to fill with this one as well. Go check down to Purdue Fort Wayne, a common opponent between these two. Great hit. Just out of reach. You've got a good chance to get this guy out if you're able just to throw strikes. But instead, it'll take another great bounce into right Bonner. So good coming in. He's facing off against Wilbur. Goodness! Six pitches and two strikeouts for the redshirt sophomore. What a way to close the eighth inning. I guess that was the right call. We'll be a pair of tall pitchers. Won't be too different for Simo to hit against. They'll swing. Instead, he'll go to center. Coming home, Cole McVictory, his senior year. Got him swing three on the day. Make it over four. One more. Last lifeline. That will do it. Austin Peterson finishes it out for the Purdue Boilermakers, who win by five runs, eight to three. Hunter, we saw a lot from these Boilermakers tonight. Some power hitting finally. Bryce Bonner opening it up. I'd have to give him the MVP of the game. What do you think you like best from these Purdue Boilermakers? Just a, there was a lot of things that went well for the Boilers. Trent Johnson coming out and throwing good first six innings of this game. And then after we saw the controversy or a little bit of controversy with the run take, getting taken off the board and the Boilermakers able to bounce back in the bottom of the fifth, not let that affect them or get them down in any way, getting a lot of hit, 13 hits in this game versus the Red Hawks. They've got two more chances to get a couple more wins before they head back to conference play. We'll get some sleep because we'll be right back here tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. from Alexander Field. For all of us here at BTN Student U, I'm J.D. Arlen alongside Hunter Massingill. Have a great night, and we will see you tomorrow morning.